Ta-da! I did it. I have completed my 24-7 challenge. In August I turned 25, marking the end of my 24-7 challenge. If you've missed this entire year in my life, let me fill you in. So when I turned 24 last year, I decided I wanted to complete 7 different challenges within my year of being 24, and so I called it my 24-7 challenge. So the aim of the year was to try and do as many of the 7 things as I could, and I am proud to say that I did it, and in, in the time specified. So. By my birthday on the 18th of August, yes I know, that's like four months ago now, in 2015 I had completed my 24-7 challenge and so today I just wanted to come full circle and do a little roundup video and tell, letting you know how I got on. So let's get started. So number one on my 24-7 challenge list was YouTube. So that was ticked off the list as soon as I uploaded my first video in the challenge. Um, I wanted to start a ch channel, start making stuff, give myself a little creative outlet, and I did it. I think this is like my 30 something video for the year, so awesome sauce. Um, and I now have 121 subscribers, which not, is not a big deal for some people, but like, I think it's class. Um, so thank you all for watching my little YouTube channel and the progress that I've made in my 24-7 challenge um, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Number two was music and I... Well that's convenient. Number two was music and to be honest I didn't have any kind of goal set in terms of what I did with my music, I just wanted to document it more than anything. So I uploaded three original songs um, this year, uh, spanning the decade or so of my songwriting career. Um, I uploaded a song that I wrote when I was like 15, another one I wrote when I was 21, and another I wrote, I think, just last year. So they will be linked somewhere, if you haven't seen them, you can go check them out. But I just think it's nice that I have them there, recorded, documented, so when I'm old and grey, I can show me kitties, or me grandkitties, or whoever I have spawned at that point. Number three on the list was travel. And you know, I did quite a bit of travelling uh, while I was 24. My first um, trip was to Berlin, which technically happened before I turned 24, but I included it in the challenge, so shh. Um, so Berlin, then London, Munich, Barcelona, Wales, and Lanzarote. Six, not bad, not bad. Obviously seven would have been nice, round it up. But six locations, six destinations, in my year of being 24, um, which I think, you know, is sufficient for the travel portion of my 24-7 challenge. And I documented all of my trips, so there will be videos to that on my channel if you want to go check them out and get inspiration as to where you want to go next. Number four on the list was move out, and that was accomplished quite early on in the year. Um, as you can see, I am still in my new lovely new apartment in Dublin. Um, I have been here now over a year, which is great, and really enjoying living in the city and being close to everything, and you know, making the most of my urban life. Uh, but yeah, I was just really glad to move out, gain my own independence, obviously love going back to the farm and eating my mommy's food, but it is lovely to have moved out and completed that part of my challenge as well. Five was try new things. So I wanted to do at least one new thing each month, uh, which would uh, you know be about 12 things, but I tried way more than that. I didn't document everything, uh, but it was definitely something in the back of my head all year, so it was great to kind of like give myself a push if I wasn't going to do something. But a few things that I did document were going to the Guinness storehouse. I also went on the Viking Splash Tour, a couple of different touristy things around Dublin if anyone is looking for something to do over a weekend. Um, littler things that I did were getting my eyebrows started, which I have now been converted. 
started to. I'm actually due um, another threading soon, but I said I'd wait till Christmas. Other little new things. I don't know whether to include this, but sure, fuck it. I'm hyper, let's go crazy. Another new thing that I did during the year was I went to the doctor and got help for my anxiety. A lot of you might not know that I actually uh, suffer, you know, suffer, who knows. Anyway, I have anxiety and sometimes it's quite bad, other times I forget it's even there. But during my year of 24, um, it got quite bad. I went to my GP, told her what was going on and she helped me the best she could. So still a work in progress, that's something new that I did this year. Um, and if anyone else is feeling, you know, under pressure or anything like that, Go, go talk to someone. It wouldn't be a 24 7 challenge video if the camera didn't die. Excuse the slight rejig. Number six. No, that's not six. Number six on the 24 7 challenge was to get a tattoo, which I did in July, you'll be glad to hear. Um, I got this little birdie right here, my little birdie, in the ink factory in Dublin. It's along the quays near Temple Bar and it's a really cool place. It's a tattoo place, it, you get piercings there. They also have barbers and you can get coffee or tea. Everyone was really nice there, it felt really comfortable because you know the way you just don't feel like, oh I, I don't have a million tattoos, I'm not that cool. But they were really nice and I really enjoyed my experience there. So if anyone is looking for a tattoo in the Dublin area, I would recommend the Ink Factory. Number seven on the 24 7 challenge was run so i started to run slash jog in march of this year i used the couch to 5k app and i was really chuffed with myself when i was able to do it uh i think was it nine weeks i'm pretty sure it was nine weeks um that you trained to be able to run 5k and at the end of it i actually did a 6k run for charity to round it all off and I was just really proud of myself. It's really cool to have achieved that. And um, yeah, I have a video, a little video about that uh, and my progress and how, how it went for me. If you want to check that out, you know, with the new year coming up, maybe running can be on your um, list of resolutions. So anyway, there you go. That was my 24 seven challenge. Um, really proud that I did everything and I have all of these cool videos to look back on and remember my lovely year but anywho I am going anywhere so don't you worry I'm gonna keep going with my, my YouTube channel and um, I have obviously been a little bit absent lately but you know it's nice to take a break every now and again and I do have plans for the new year I'm hoping on a kind of a two at least two videos per month kind of schedule so somebody hold me to that please um, but yeah, thanks a million for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for liking stuff. Thanks for being cool and supportive. And I hope you enjoyed following my journey on my 24 seven challenge. And perhaps it's gonna inspire you to do something cool like this. New Year's resolutions guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little catch up and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.